man, we up in the studio right now, Trevor Lee, doing something outstanding, you know what I'm saying? In Jesus' name, not our name. I see the sky. So I have these two friends, uh, one's name's Alex and one's name is Callista. Um, they're teenage girls that love my music. I went and performed in Lufkin with Von Juan and Lil Sizzle and they just love their music. Callista being the best friend of Alex, heard my music through her. Alex would always hit me up on Facebook, she would like my post, she'd be the first one every single time. And through that experience, her mom noticed how much she loved me as an artist and hit me up to come do her 16th birthday party. Her and Callista's joint 16th birthday party. And I was like, of course I'll do that. I'm not opposed to doing stuff like that. If someone supports my music as much as she did, I mean, she deserves me to travel to the ends of the earth to come and you know, be there with her in person to celebrate her birthday. And through that experience, I became kind of a part of the family. I really saw an opportunity to influence Alex in a positive way by being a big brother type. And through becoming like family, she hits me up during Christmas time and she says, so what, what do you want for Christmas? for Christmas? And he said he didn't know and that he just wanted to see us. And then I was like, what I really wanted for Christmas was to be able to record with you. And now here we are recording, but it's not this easy. So. I went ahead and set up studio time with Supreme. I picked a song and we went ahead and did this remix to All To You. I put Ari Lynn on it and then I put Alex and Callista for all the background vocals. They did a pretty good job. They did a good job. I was pretty impressed. Okay, let's go ahead and bring the chorus. Girls, please don't. I make fun of them. Right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it makes you uncomfortable. I don't love them. Like if I just hold it right here, does it make you uncomfortable? It does. It looks gross. <laughs> Dude. So, uh, um, so what happened was, it. So what happened was, it. <laughs> when we went into the studio, guess who was there? 007. I hope he doesn't mind me saying he had showed up to the wrong night for the studio time. I came to the studio on the wrong day. Uh, I know it sounds kind of crazy, but I came to the studio on the wrong day and I just stayed and they said Trevor was coming. I said, man, I can't wait to see Trevor. So it was like, when he came in, he said, man, I got a song for you. And I said, okay, let's do it. So I heard the song and I said, man, that's dope. Light the mic up, let's go. That's what happens when you get old as a rapper, you get memory loss, you forget what day you're supposed to come to the studio. <laughs> so I took complete advantage of the situation and said, yo, you wanna hop on this song? He wrote his verse, went in the studio, done. I'm a slave to the rhythm, steady come up hitting, but the pain I'm a give him. Yo, I done gave up sinning, super salute to all the souls we winning. Hey. Hold up just a minute, I done got it at the mud, see the flow's infinite. When you've got a legend that wants to work with you, it's a no-brainer. So this year on the Sketch interview series, we're going bigger, we're going better. We got like a lot of great equipment this year. And not only that, but we had a bigger team. So I thought to myself, it would be great if people got to see who I surround myself with. So we interviewed the band, Extended Play, not everybody, but some. We interviewed Katie from the band. Uh, she goes by With You, and she's coming out with a project this year. Oh my gosh, when I tell you, you were gonna love it. It's not a joke, it's not a game. It's not like, oh my gosh, it's good. What I love about Katie's project is that it's nothing like I've personally done before 
But also in the sketch series, Jay Lyric, I mean, let me tell you about Jay Lyric. Jay Lyric is the dopest character you'll ever meet. When she walks into a room, it makes you smile. Really does. Like, when we did, you saw her feature in um, the Late Days, Long Nights photo shoot in the last episode, briefly. And right when she walked into that, it, like, she lit up the room. She made it a heck of a lot more fun. Because sometimes I'm like, I'm pretty serious a lot of the times when it comes to work, but she makes sure that I lighten up a bit. Um, I was on the Metro bus and he was asking for change. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Trevor Lee, uh, so there's a, 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 a movement starting to boil up in Houston. Uh, Trevor Lee is uh, all over the movement, right? So I'm a hip hop artist. Uh, he's everything. He's a writer. Uh, he's a singer. Uh, he's a, a hip hop artist, a rapper, all the above, videographer. And so we were at an event and uh, greatness collided and I'm excited to be here with him. Other people featured was Joshua Valkeen from Manor House Soldiers. It's great to have somebody actually ask him about his testimony. You know, even though you can go see his testimony series as we release it, it's just great to get a third party asking a lot more questions that maybe someone hearing his story would want to ask. And you know, he kind of elaborates on it. Well, New Year's night, you know, I was probably about 17 years old and um... I decided, you know, that I wanted to get drunk. A tragic scene in North Houston in the very early hours of the new year. Police say alcohol is involved. Uh, the vehicle came out and swung wide in the wrong lane of traffic and struck another vehicle head on, uh, killing the driver of the other vehicle. 18-year-old Joshua Glenn King remains in the hospital because of injuries suffered in the collision. He's charged with intoxication manslaughter, a second degree felony. I want to get drunk and party like everybody else. The Ocean's Remix is a unique song because it took nine months to actually create. I've never taken that long on a track. Now I've set on a song for nine months or two years before I've released it, but I've never taken nine months on an actual track. So the music video is something super unique. I've never done this before, but I've had it in my heart and in my mind for a long time. And on Facebook, this girl, Caress Grant, added me through mutual friends and she's a dancer. So I hit her up and I said, hey, you know, here's my budget. Would you be willing to choreograph a song for me for a music video? She said, yeah. I said, I don't know what song yet, but when I do, I'll let you know. So I finally figured out I wanted to do Oceans, taking the risk to do this video that way. And a month and a half later, we're filming it. We're in Galveston. So the concept of the music video is this character, this character is going out and dancing throughout the city, having fun, and her soundtrack is Oceans. I've been working on this choreography for maybe um, a month, maybe a little over a month. Um, definitely in and off, on and off of working on choreography and just kind of filming the music and understanding what the song's about. You know, if someone could take one thing from my life during this month, it would be that although life can be extremely overwhelming, perseverance is actually not breaking when everything feels overwhelming. That's what perseverance is. And it is through that activity that you really begin to shine and begin to be polished. And after you get through these actual times where you feel like everything is truly caving in on you and you feel like, how am I gonna do this? You know, how could this possibly work? And I'm just holding it together. 
when those moments occur like they have been for me this last couple months and, and this month specifically, I just trust that God truly knows more about my life and my future than I do. And I know that His will is perfect. And if I truly believe that I am in the right direction that He has asked me to, in doing the things that He asked me to do, then I'll be just fine. Coming like a hurricane. Yeah, hurricane. Like, like a hurricane. Yeah, like a hurricane. Your spirit's coming like a hurricane. Ooh. Cause only God is